sweet potatoes. They've reached superfood status with Dom owners, but do they deserve that label? Let's take a look. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. So despite their name, sweet potatoes aren't potatoes at all. Potatoes are part of the nightshade family along with tomatoes, peppers, and eggplant. Now, these plants produce solanine in their leaves, which is poisonous to humans and dogs, and that's why you should never eat green potatoes. But sweet potatoes are more related to the morning glory vine of all things. Potatoes and sweet potatoes are very distant cousins, but the one thing that they have in common is that they're tubers, which are the roots of the plants, essentially. Now, comparing potatoes and sweet potatoes side by side, you can see that the sweet potato is more nutritious. Compared to the lowly potato, it's richer in beta carotene, vitamin C, manganese, and some B vitamins. Sweet potatoes also contain some antioxidants like anthocyanins, and it has more fiber than potatoes. So sweet potatoes are more nutritious than potatoes. Now, despite the difference in vitamins and minerals, both of these tubers are high in starch. The glycemic load of sweet potatoes, which is how quickly it raises blood sugar, is 22, while that of the potato is a whopping 33. So this means that potatoes will spike insulin more quickly, and that's linked to metabolic disease, obesity, and inflammation. But don't feel all warm and fuzzy about the sweet potato yet, because its glycemic load is still about the same as a lot of white pasta, and it's higher than white bread. In fact, it's double the glycemic load of white bread. Now, both potatoes and sweet potatoes contain significantly more starch than other root vegetables like carrots, beets, or turnips, which all have a much lower glycemic load. Plus, starchy foods have been shown to cause unwanted changes in the gut biome by feeding bacteria species that are linked to cancers and digestive issues. So are sweet potatoes good for dogs? My answer would be no. Sure, they're more nutritious and they have a gl lower glycemic load than potatoes, but potatoes aren't particularly good for dogs either. Better than bad isn't good enough for my dogs, and I'm guessing it's not good enough for your dog either. Now, you might not know this, but dogs have no need for carbohydrate in their diet. They just need some fiber and polyphenols to keep their gut healthy, which in the wild would come from berries and veggies and definitely not tubers like sweet potatoes. And berries are a much lower glycemic treat for dogs that offer a lot more antioxidants and micronutrients anyway. So if you're looking to add extra nutrition to your dog's meals, then check out this video on broccoli and how it can reduce the risk of cancer. But as for the sweet potato, the risks very likely outweigh any benefits they offer. If you believe that the right diet can extend your dog's life and, and decreases risk of disease, then skip the sweet potatoes. Now, if you're interested in making your own cooked or raw dog food, then check out this link and grab them for free. They all meet AFCO requirements and they're easy to make. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And if you like this video, please make sure you like it, share it, and tell people about it. Thanks for watching.